Hey guys, Ariel over here at Fine If. I wanted to do a quick video today um, talking about one of my tiny house appliances. That's something I get questions about. I'm going to try to do videos about more of them. Um, if you're new here, check out the channel, see more about my tiny house that I'm living in. But today I wanted to discuss a vacuum cleaner. Um, I have a little vacuum. It's never showed up in any of my videos. Even though I'm off grid, I do have power for my solar panels. It's a beautiful sunny day out and I can look a little dark uh, inside from the how bright it is outside the windows. And so I do um, use some electronic appliances. Vacuum cleaner is not something I use a whole lot. And initially when I moved in here, I did not have one. But when I added this little wood stove, if you hear some crackling, that's the wood in there. Um, that just made a lot more dust. If you've ever heated with wood, you probably know that it is going to be unavoidable when you've got wood heat, you get more dust. Um, probably, partly because the air is drier and partly because you get little bits of ash and stuff that escape when you open and close the door. So before I had the wood stove, I did not have a vacuum cleaner. And after I installed it, I decided that there was just some spots where I couldn't really uh, clean well with my little dustpan and brush, which is what I normally use for most of the cleaning. So I went shopping for a small vacuum cleaner. The one I've got, I keep under my um, couch right here. There is storage bins here. It's not something I use on a daily basis, so this works fine. Just gotta move a couple things. Grab my little vacuum out from under there. Couch back down. Straighten it up later when I put it away. This is my little vacuum cleaner. No, I'm not a rep for any company. I just do my own thing and I'm really happy with this and I like it and it works. So I thought I'd tell you guys about it. Now I think when I bought this it was about 70 bucks. I ordered it through Amazon but I just looked up my order and it's currently for sale for $39.95 or something like that. So it's a pretty good deal I think because I've had this for a couple years. Works great for doing small cleaning things which is all you have in the tiny house and I'm really happy with it. It does have an attachment where it can go on a, um, uh, I don't know what you even call it, a stick where it's got a, a floor sweeper for the flat floor. I never use that. I never have. I've got it. It's somewhere under there as well, but I just never use that. If I'm sweeping my floor, I use my little dustpan and brush, like I said. But for edges and cracks and crannies, I do use this little thing. It doesn't have a bag. It's got a filter right in here. I don't know if the camera can see that, but I'll show you guys that in a minute because there's some dirt in there now. But I'm just going to go around and vacuum a few of the edges and corners and then show you how I dump it. Um, and for what this is called, I'll have to look it up. I don't remember the brand name. Don't see it on here. Oh, it's a Von Haas. Um, anyway, I'll try to leave a link to this one right below my video. Like I said, no affiliate or anything. I just, I'm really happy with the product. I actually bought my little sister one as well. As far as I know, she's still using it happily. And if you've got a really small space, it stores pretty compactly. I just hook that cord or the little hose under there, keep the cord all wadded up. And as you saw, it goes nicely under my couch. So anyway, I'm going to vacuum up some dust. Said I don't use this a lot. I only run it for a few minutes at a time, so it's not a big power user. It does draw 600 watts, so it is one of the bigger power users when I turn it on, but that's only for a few minutes every other week or something like that. So it's not a big deal with my little power setup. And it is just really nice because with ash and stuff, if you try to sweep it up, it's so light and feathery, it kind of just goes airborne and then relands somewhere else later. And so it's nice to have a little vacuum where you can actually suck it up and contain it. Now, when you want to empty this thing, it's got, it's real simple, just got an on off button there. And then this big button just disconnects the entire um, bucket there. And in here, I'll see if I can not make a mess doing this in the house. I usually do it outside. There's this little filter. You can see dirt stuck to it. So what I usually do is I just take that outside, shake it off somewhere in the woods. There's a little, um, see if I can balance this, not make a mess. There's a little Velcroed on uh, sheet around the filter. So you can pull that off 
shake the dust out of that and then should tap the filter a bit to get extra dust out of there and then any bigger chunks will be in this container and you can dump them as well. So there's no ba uh, bags to change, no other expenses. As I said, I don't you know use this for heavy cleaning or anything, but I've had it for a couple years, really happy with it. If you've got a tiny house or a small space and there's just some times where you do want a um, vacuum, this in my experience is a really good way to go. There's probably other great brands and stuff out there. Do your own research, look around, but this little guy, pretty cheap, like I said, less than 40 bucks on Amazon right now. And I think a super good value for that, if that's something you're looking for. One other thing I forgot to mention, guys, uh, as I said, I've got this vacuum mostly because I have a wood stove. The wood stove is crackling and burning right now. If you are new to using a wood stove, be aware, don't ever vacuum up right around your wood stove itself when it's hot. Um, there's just a pretty high chance of getting some kind of live coal inside your vacuum. And especially if you had a vacuum bag style, it would be less of an issue with this because I could probably see it. But if you had a vacuum bag full of dust and lint and hair and whatever, you can think you're fine, you don't know it, you put it away in your closet, wherever you keep your vacuum, and a day later, hours later, that little coal can ignite all that stuff in the bag and burn your house down. So just wanted to be sure you guys were aware of that. Don't vacuum up anything around a hot wood stove where you might suck up a coal. So just want everybody to be safe. So when I want to dump this, normally what I do is I just come outside, pull this little filter thing out, shake any dust out. Obviously you could do this in a trash can as well. I just have plenty of space outside. So make sure you get everything out of there. I have long hair, so every now and then I get little hairs stuck in there. And that's pretty good for that. And then on this filter, just peel that off and a little bit of dust will get stuck in that filter. It's helpful to kind of tap it gently on something. Shake some of that out. Shake this off. Make sure that's mostly clean. It wraps back around here. Velcro is back on. A few more hairs stuck to things there. And this pops back in. There you go. Ready to put it back on the vacuum inside. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.